In this quick video guide, I want to talk about Blend Swap website. Now you can find it just by, of course, typing into Google Blend Swap. Just click there in the first result and get you to the home page. There you go. Now this website offers a lot of uh, different props and assets like uh, 3D objects and materials and other categories. We're gonna see it just in just a minute to use into Blender. So if you are a Blender fan, a Blender user, this is uh, one of the best websites out there where you can find free stuff that you can implement, you can download and insert into your project. So we're gonna do just an example here. So when you are in the website, just go into Blends and you can see here all different categories. Just go here in categories to have a look to what uh, this website has to offer. So you can see here we have architecture, accessories, clothes, and um, characters, furniture, landscapes, particles, plants, simulations, weapons, and so on, vehicles. Now you can go to materials, for example, if you want to get some nice materials. And this is just a few. So if you scroll all the way down, you will also find others. So if you click here, this is gonna be the second page and you will find entire packages of materials that you can use. And you can see that some of those look really amazing, look really beautiful. Car paints, now this is the also the license. So most of those are CC0, which means that are completely reusable. So they're totally free. You can use it for any project, commercial projects or study project, whatever. And just go on there and investigate, explore all the the assets here that this website has to offer. Now I'm gonna go back to the first page and I just want to make an example with these stylized wooden boards. So I'm gonna click there, there you go. Now one important thing is that you need to be registered to the website. So here we can see also the other images and the textures that will be used in this file. So this is just uh, to understand how everything will work out. So you can see there's also a displacement there. There's also a video showing how the material will work. So basically create an account up there. If you don't have one already, just register. It's gonna take really few seconds. And then a download link should appear right here. Let me show you. So this is another browser here where I already logged in. So I'm just gonna go into the same page as before. So categories and uh, go the way down here, materials and wooden boards right here. And there you go. Now you can, you can also donate, you can also support this website with donations. Now there you go, this is a, a different license, it's CC BY, which means we need to credit the author, which is right here. So if you want to know more about the author and uh, then you can go here and get more information about the author and um, you can also see which render is used, which version of Blender and other information. So when you're ready, click on download, you should see the download appear right here at the bottom left corner of the browser. And when you're ready, usually it's going to be inside your download folder. Well, unless you have another one specified. So there you go. Just open it up and it's gonna be in Blender. And there we go. So we have this visualization right now, which is not pretty good for what we need to do. There you go. Now we have the textures. Now make sure that you are not seeing this visualization here, which is a simple solid visualization. So you need to be in viewport uh, material preview or in this one here, which is gonna be the rendered version. And you can use either EV to have a quick representation or you can use cycles if you want a more realistic representation. Now you can also go there and like move around these lights to see how the material behaves in relation with lightning in your scene. So you can see here we already have three objects with the material applied. If you want to know more about this, if you want to study uh, how this material was made, go here into shading mode or shading interface and expand this um, node editor. So you can go there and just check out where, uh, for example, the texture 
have been placed and what texture have been used to represent the diffuse, the metalness. For example, here the metalness is just the screws on the on the surface there, the rivets or uh, those metal parts are, have been uh, um, identified with the metalness texture, and this one here is the roughness and normal to have a nice 3D superficial effect. And also we have some displacement here. Now you need to activate the displacement, otherwise it's not gonna be visible. But if you go in our uh, Blender video course that you will find in the channel, all these topics are covered. So if you want to know more about Blender, you want to study more the materials and all the other parts of the software, just go in the channel, search for the Blender video course or write your comments ask for ask your questions or you can also type your suggestions so well this is it these are the texture here this is the material the shader and these are the objects where it was applied now remember that when you want to see the material at the best of its um, performance you should move into cycles at some point and run a render this is going to show you the actual effect of the material on a rendering. Okay, so this will be all for this video guide. If you enjoyed, please subscribe to the channel and if you want to support us a little bit, you can do it by joining the channel. And again, you can write your comments, write your suggestions, ask questions, ask for assistance. And uh, so this will be it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video guide.